Do you want a hand? Yes, please. Well, don't strain yourself. <laughs> Try not to. Hey, next year we swap. I'll lounge around in an office all year and you can do the crazy shopping. Nuts. Well, suit yourself. You've not got any. I wouldn't argue with that. <laughs> You've got the dates, but no nuts. Why? Well, there wasn't any more room left on the camel. And where's the Christmas paper? Well, you said we had some left over from last year's prezzies and you was going to iron it. Oh, that won't be enough. I put it on the list. Well, I lost the list. You idiot. It's all right, though. I've got a photographic memory. Hey, it was a ten-ounce turkey and fourteen pounds of stuffing, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what you need. Ooh, what's this, eh? Nothing. Present, is it? Something for me? No, I got yours last week from the 50p shop. <laughs> For Malcolm. Might be. What is it? An emu pyjama case. You've looked. Oh, we've still got the family's presents. Oh, we'll talk about them tomorrow. Here's the list. <laughs> Are you seeing Sydney over Christmas? No, well, it's family, isn't it? It doesn't have to be. Well, it is. Anyway, we've got the office party on the Tuesday. We'll probably leave a bit early. Separately, of course. Of course. And Chrissy Day. Are you going to Mum's? Yes, and you are. Brenda, what's this? Well, it was on your list. Mind your writing's terrible. That says crepe paper, you bear. <laughs> you were. Well, I'm not mean, am I, Malcolm? No, nobody would call me mean. But I do think two pounds a foot is a bit much. At least that's what Pickering's are charging. Mind his father was the same when he had the business. I can remember him wanting two shillings for the sprig of holly. They're more like a piece of varnished privet. And threepence extra if you wanted berries. What are you doing? Sorting photographs. Oh, well, if you come across that one of me with the Historical Society in Stockport, put it to one side, will you? Why they ever chose Stockport, I'll never know. The only things historical there were the almond macaroons we had for tea. <laughs> now, where was I? Two pounds a foot. Uh, uh, right. If it's anything like that monstrosity you sent last year, it can go straight back. Six foot, I asked for. There's nothing growing sideways after the first three. Look like a broom handle and a clump of nettles. I mean, what is the point of standing a tree near your window if nothing shows above the sill? Well, there was the fairy. Oh. <laughs> I suppose she did look a bit lonely. Yeah. And what was it that fool milkman said? Uh, oh, yeah. Who's been teaching the fairy to pole vault? <laughs> That's right, so he did. Well, he needn't bother ringing next week with his annual smile and his compliments of the season from all at the depot. <laughs> compliments of the season? <laughs> oh, what'll it be? Oh, just an orange juice, please, Sydney. And an orange. Certainly, So what do we get me, Mum? She wants a new coat. Right. So it's same as last year? Yeah, a pair of slippers. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sandra? Hi. No, it's Malcolm, but I can see the resemblance. What resemblance? Spiky hair, lives with Mum and only shaves twice a week. <laughs> what are we buying, our uh, Sandra? Well, we could get her a big ugly ornament that'll go alongside the fireplace. And get in everybody's way. Why? Well, it'll make a pair with that fella she's going with. <laughs> same as last year, toilet water. Yeah, and a big bottle from both of us. But this time, you can get it. I don't like putting my hand down there. Well, it stopped you biting your nails. <laughs> Which reminds me, where's my nail file? I don't know. You borrowed it. I'm a scissors. I'm fed up with you borrowing things, then losing them. Well, you borrowed me UB40 so you could get in the health club half price. 
And it's not right, really, is it? I mean, someone like you ought to pay double. <laughs> Finished your list? Nearly. Just want to go. So it's last and by every means least our dear old Nan. She dropped a couple of hints the last time I was there. Well, let me guess. A new snooker queue and some extra weights for their barbells. Bed socks or gloves? We could give her one of each. A pair of slippers. <laughs> You've done all your Christmas shopping then, Mal? Not much to do, really. Your mum take care of it all, does she? More or less. I think this year I'm buying her a non-stick four-compartment egg poacher. Fantastic. <laughs> Suppose it's all done for you too, is it? Well, that sort of thing's woman's work, really, isn't it? Oh, good old Sydney. The original pink-skinned, snub-nosed, curly-tailed chauvinist. Uh, I was thinking of taking a run out your way on Sunday, because we need a tree. Oh, Delamere Forest. Yes, that's the place. Hey, did you hear that, Pamela? They've got trees in their forest. <laughs> you're, uh, you're keen on trees, aren't you? Yes, my hobby. Boring. <laughs> Actually, I'm quite friendly with one of the foresters, and... He sees me right each year, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Look, if you're going Sunday, don't go to that lay-by where they sell them. There's a turn-off just before, leads up to an old hut. I can meet you there. Yeah, OK. Are you, uh, are you doing anything Sunday? Well, I was going to give our pet camel a bath. Pamela? <laughs> no, the other one. Shut it. <laughs> well, I hadn't anything planned. Oh, why not? Uh, why not come over? I suppose I could. I usually go for a leisurely 18 holes Sunday morning, so I shan't be missed. I'll fix Malcolm up with the tree, say, um, 10 o'clock. Yeah, OK. Malcolm will need to get home. To put it in water. <laughs> Shut her up, will you? Hold on a minute. How do I get back? I'll run you to the station. Oh, big deal. And how does she get to this forest? Well, I thought, um... Well, who says I'll lend him? <laughs> well, he is coming for a tree. Not from here, though. Oh, well, it was just an idea. Forget it. Oh, well, maybe we could. Perhaps make a day of it. We'll say I'll see you here about nine, Malk. Uh, uh, yeah, OK. That's how he gets me all of a tremble. He's so decisive. Hold on. What about me? Well, with you, it's more of a squirm than a tremble. <laughs> Look, I wasn't really taken with the idea of riding from here to Delamere on the back of the antique sewing machine. But one thing is both defo. I'm not riding in that goldfish bowl. Oh, don't worry, you won't break it. I'll break you. Now, now. Malk. What? Go on, persuade her, show her your muscle. I'm not going anywhere near that oh, stupid... Oh, don't bring it on, Fuddy, it'll be dead good. I've told you, I'm not riding in it. OK, OK, I give in. We'll swap over halfway. Brenda, will you talk too much? Me? Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, well, that's great, isn't it? Here's me fixing up a day out for you lot, and that's all the thanks I get. Look, I'll run you to Delamere on Sunday, provided you put these somewhere safe. Like where? Like there. <laughs> come on. Hey, come on. Come on. What do you got? <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> They look nice. Talking of Christmas, Christmas Day, I thought I might go someplace. That'd be all right. Yes, that'll be all right. Provided the some place is this place. But, Mother, the thing is... Uh, Malcolm, we are talking about Christmas Day. You may, and these days you certainly do, do as you please the other 364, but Christmas Day is here. Oh, but, Mother, look... I... Well, the thing is... I... OK, 
Okay, it's your turn. Thank God. Oh, just one thing. You'll need this if you're going to ride pillion. Oh, well, uh, too small. I should have thought. Now, you knew. Full <laughs> head, Captain. Maybe they could stay in the tank. <laughs> Hey, look. What? Sydney? No, on that branch. I think it's a crossbill. <laughs> crossbill? What's he on about? He's just seen another sparrow. He always calls them by their first names. It doesn't look too upset to me. Where? On that fur cone. It's a male. Well, how can you tell? He's got brilliant binoculars. <laughs> Brown, the female's green. Shh. Listen. <laughs> Supposed to meet Sid Clough. Yeah, where is he? Which one's Pam? Me. Sent this, and I've got something for you. Well. Uh, I'll just make it a bluey. <laughs> I left something on this morning. What? The Frodsham from Homemade Wine Tasters Carol Service. Oh, God, how'd you stick him? Dirty, rotten swine. He'll pay for this. No, it's all right. I've paid. <laughs> Sydney been delayed, has he? Delayed today. Demolished tomorrow. Oh, let's get out of here. <laughs> we have a problem. Not really. Slim as my waif of a sister is, there's no way we're going to get air and the Christmas tree into the goldfish bowl. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, no, we can't. Well, look, you two, I've had enough pantomime for one day. Oh, no, you haven't. Oh, yes, we... <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. I've got a little dicky. <laughs> That's what it's called. Dicky seat. I'm not going to ask why. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm not riding in that. It's dangerous. Only for you. Brenda, take no notice. It's perfectly safe, honestly. It is not. Oh, yes, it is. Brenda, shut up. Come on, Pam, you'll be okay. on your left and don't forget to wash your hands Malk yeah what are you doing Chrissy well I work Christmas Eve look at you but I get a day off in Lou oh well Pamela should be out by then what? <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> come to our flat Chrissy day I can't you can't. Well, not Christmas Day. I mean, Auntie Peggy and Uncle Bernard always come here. It's a sort of tradition. Well, break it. Well, I couldn't really. We, uh, we do things. The day's sort of mapped out, you know. Christmas dinner, the Queen at three. Does she come? <laughs> We've done the same for years now. It's a sort of ritual, I suppose. Always swap presents about four. Then at five, me cousin always rings. Auntie Peggy's son. 
Then we all gather around the phone, each have a little chat with him. <laughs> Where is he, Australia? No, Blackpool. <laughs> He's a chef and he works Christmas. Uh, then we have a Christmas dinner. All wearing paper hats. Yeah. And after, well... Don't tell me. You place your odds. No, of course not. Sabutio. <laughs> Sabutio? Just me and my Uncle Bernard. Oh, God. Well, he did buy me the latest England strip. I don't believe it. I'll show you if you like. Now. <laughs> What about you? What do you do? Does it matter? Just thought you'd do the same. Well, place a beauty you. Go to your mum's. I'm not going anywhere. I'm a big girl now, I was left home. And I don't intend traipsing to my mother's every Christmas with a choice of either sitting in one room watching the telly or in another listening to me nan telling us about the bloody air raids. <laughs> you could come here. I don't want to. Thank you. Look, Pamela will be going to me mum's and we could have the flat to ourselves. Understand? Oh, I see. <laughs> I can't. You mean you won't? Christmas, it's only once a year. Oh, you've been peeping at next year's calendar. <laughs> I mean, well, I'd like to, but me mother... Oh, forget it. <coughs> Everything all right? What's up with you, sourpuss? Sourpuss? Well, it's probably because I've been going with a prize lemon. Pamela, what are you doing Christmas Day? Me? I'm going to me mum's. And what about Brenda? She'll be coming too. No, I won't. You'd better or she'll be really upset. She's dead sentimental, our mum. If you don't come, she'll break your legs. <laughs> Did you really want to? Just the two of us? Doesn't matter. Look, perhaps we could... Uh... Someone coming up your path. Oh, it's me mother. Let's hope she likes the tree. Do you think parents study ways of screwing things up, or is it just instinct? Close your eyes. Why? I've got a surprise. Ah, nothing silly at all. Just keep them closed. Right? <laughs> Ready? Open them. Ta-da! Oh, it's you. <laughs> Can I close them again? <coughs> there. Isn't that a beauty? A Christmas tree. Right. Wrong. I don't want to cause a family feud, but I think he's right. No, it's not. <laughs> what do you say, Pam? Your sister? Every little ounce. Hello. My commiserations. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, if you look in the garage, do you know what you'll find? Wait for it. Christmas tree? He's like lightning, you know. From Pickering's. <laughs> Ordered and delivered yesterday. Oh, I didn't know. Of course not, you're never here. Oh, well, thanks for a lovely day out. It was very jolly, really, but we'll be making our way up to the station. Look, don't rush off. I was just going to make a coffee. Please don't leave on my account. Oh, we'd best get back. Yes, Beck Holmes write about our adventures. The famous three nick a Christmas tree. Nick? <laughs> Take the notice. We got it sort of trade price through a friend in Frodsham. Well, I'd suggest giving it to Auntie Peggy. But she's gone all funny about these things since she's joined the Green Party. <laughs> I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Brenda? Yeah? Do you want a Christmas tree? Uh, no, thanks very much. We have a nice little plastic number that doesn't take up much room. As a present. Oh, that's very kind. Uh, yes, it is kind, but really they do tend to shed the spines and I don't want to spend the next two weeks ankle deep Oh, in... you exaggerate. Thanks very much, Mark. It's really nice of you. We can put it in the corner by the telly. Or a sweet round it every day. Oh, you say that now. But anyway, how are we going to get it Oh, no. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> Definitely no way. What, you mean a wand fell off the back of a lorry? Is that your Christmas joke? Yeah. No more, eh? OK. <laughs> Is 
You can put me down now, Malk. Malk, you can put me down. Say please. Please. Say pretty please. Oh, Malk. Pretty please. Pretty please. Say pretty please with green spots. Pretty please with green spots. OK. Ow. You're off your head. Must be the company I keep. I hope they're having a good time at Mum's. Yeah, me too. Um, Malk. Yeah? Do you want your prezzy now? No, I can wait. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all right. You pig. <laughs> Do you want yours? Yeah. It's not really time. I'll give us it. You first. Room for one more inside. Oh, you'll grow into it. Yeah. Well. Oh, thanks. Is that it? Oh. Sorry. It's for you. I thought it might be. Great. Thought you might keep it in your handbag. Have you got one in yours? <laughs> well, they're really useful. And see, you won't have to borrow from Pamela now because there's a little uh, pair of scissors there. See? A nail file. A pair of tweezers. Swiss Army. It's very useful, thanks. And, of course, a knife. Hey, it'll be dead handy if we ever join the Swiss Army. <laughs> well, that's that, then. Yeah. It's nearly three. Hey? Nearly three. Oh, right, should have switched it on. It's a tradition. Click. Uh, Brenda? Yeah? Don't you think they need to adjust the brightness? Oh, right. Better? Perfect. It's a nice little pad they got. Must be able to decorate. <laughs> Sorry, Madge. Merry Christmas. Beauty, I thought it was your Christmas party. It was. Sydney. He suggested we leave early. And you agreed. You said you weren't. He's very persuasive. You divvy. Malcolm, go and have a look at the oven. Oh, right. You wanted to go to a hotel. Oh, you. Pamela. Signed in Mr. and Mrs. Smith, would you believe? Oh, very original, is said. They asked him to pay in advance. So once he had, I said I had to go and buy a toothbrush. And? He's still waiting. Brilliant! <laughs> still there. What is? The oven. Oh, Malcolm. <laughs> What's going on? It's our Christmas day. Oh, come on, join in. Oh, no, it's OK. I'll go out for a walk. No, you won't. Malcolm, get him. Oh, we ordered the ass. Someday he'll make someone a lovely wife. Shut up, you old cracker joke. <laughs> Sorry. He knows how to frighten me. Why Chinese? Well, you know the New Year's Day is different to ours. Well, this is our Chinese Christmas Day. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Have I fallen in a spell? Does he drown me? So what do I say? 